Orville, the oldest orphan at the hideaway orphan's home, accidentally hides inside a truck headed to a top-secret laboratory. There he is placed under the supervision of lab worker Lester to help load supplies onto an experimental rocket ship. While on board with Lester, Orville flips the ignition switch and the rocket ship blasts off, flying across the country and eventually landing outside of New Orleans, where Mardi Gras is in progress. Lester and Orville, believing that they have successfully landed on Mars, don spacesuits and go into the city, where they assume the grotesquely costumed celebrants are Martians, while the others assume they are fellow costumed celebrants. Meanwhile, two escaped convicts, Harry the Horse and Muggsy, stumble upon the rocket ship, put on spacesuits and head to New Orleans to rob a bank and steal clothes. Lester and Orville are wrongly accused of the crimes and flee back to the rocket ship, where Muggsy and Harry force them to launch and demand to actually go to Mars. However, once in outer space, Lester and Orville get control of the crook's gun and attempt to land back on Earth. The ship instead lands on Venus, where the four men are quickly captured by female guards and brought to the ruler of the planet, Queen Allura. She informs them that Venus is inhabited only by women because men were banished long ago. She takes more than a liking to Orville and makes him her king consort on the condition that he Remains true to her. Orville agrees. And has Harry and Muggsy imprisoned. However, Muggsy convinces one of the female guards to flirt with Orville to prove to Queen Allura that he cannot be trusted. Disillusioned with Orville, the Queen orders all the men to leave Venus. Upon returning to the Earth, the men are lauded as heroes in a parade. But Allura, who is watching the celebration from Venus, sends a spaceship to Earth to drop a cake on Orville's head.